a little on the nostalgia critic, I remember it so you don't have to. And today we're looking at one of the most heart-wrenching, emotionally charged films of the past few years. It's the boy in the striped pants and dust. The film tells the story of Rado, a young German boy who befriends a Jewish boy named Schmuel, who isn't present in a concentration camp. The two boys form a deep bond despite the fact they can never meet in person. The film is incredibly powerful, and it's easy to see why it's become so popular. It's a beautiful story of friendship and hope, in the midst of one of the darkest periods of human history. However, the film is not without its flaws. The biggest problem is that it's extremely manipulative. The film constantly tries to tug at your heartstrings and it doesn't always succeed. The other problem is that the film is very one-sided. It's clear that the filmmakers have a very specific point of view and they're not interested in hearing any other side of the story. Overall, The Boy in the Striped Pangemus is a powerful film, but it's not perfect. It's manipulative and one-sided. But it's still a beautiful story that will stay with you long after you've seen it. 